Hi guys, Lunar here, welcome back to another video. I wanted to make a vid on what are the most common and popular builds in Warzone right now, meaning what are other players using most in Warzone over the last 7 days. A lot of players are not really sure what the best build to use is and the current meta is. Copying streamers is an okay idea, but often what's the best loadout for someone who's amazing at the game and what the average player is best at using is quite often different. So these are the 5 most used builds for the average player in the last 7 days for you to try out. We'll start with number 5. This build focuses on the Kilo 141 and the HDR, and we'll start with the Kilo build. We have the Monolithic Suppressor, used by the majority of players. It offers sound suppression and damage range plus 7.5% at the cost of aim down sight speed, which increases by 33 milliseconds, and aiming gun steadiness. There is a hidden effect on this attachment, which will increase your bullet velocity. For the battle, it has equipped the Syngard Arms 19.8 inch Prowler, Increased damage range, bullet velocity and recoil control, but decreases your aim down sight speed and your movement speed. For optic we have the VLK, definitely the most popular sight right now in Warzone and offers a 3 times zoom level, but aim down sight speed is increased by 17 milliseconds. For the under barrel we have the commando foregrip, recoil stabilization and aiming stability at the cost of movement speed which is decreased by 2%. Lastly the 60 round mag increases your magazine round to 60 but increases your aim down sight speed by 8 milliseconds and reduces movement speed by 3%. Now to go with your assault rifle in this build, equip the HDR. It has the monolithic suppressor equipped, I'm not going to go over the stats for that again. For its barrel it has the 26.9 inch HDR Pro, which will increase damage range by 36% and bullet velocity by 40% while increasing recoil control as well but aim down sight speed is increased by 83 milliseconds which is quite a lot and movement speed reduced by 4%. The TAC laser is what you'll want to equip next, it's a great choice for Warzone because the benefits definitely outweigh the penalties. Aim down sight speed, aiming stability and aim walking steadiness are all increased, but laser is visible to enemies which isn't too much of a problem in Warzone. Equip the varial zoom scope, has a magnification toggle and aim down sight speed is decreased by 18 milliseconds. Lastly, the FTAC Stalker Scout aim down sight speed is reduced by 67 milliseconds, which balances out the aim down sight speed lost from the barrel and the sight, but you do get an increase in aiming stability. For perks, equip EOD, overkill and amped, and C4 and the heartbeat sensor, and that's pretty standard for all 5 builds in this video for your perks, tactical and lethal. Okay, let's move on to the 4th most popular build this week. The build focuses on the M4A1 and the MP5 as your loadout. For the M4A1 it uses many of the same attachments as the previous Kilo and has the monolithic suppressor again, the VLK Rogue, Commando Foregrip and the 60 round mag. The only change is to use the stock M16 Grenadier as your barrel. This will increase your damage range by 40% and your bullet velocity by 50% and offers better recoil control. Your aim down sight speed will increase however by 67 milliseconds and your movement speed is reduced by 4%. To go with your M4A1 you can equip the MP5. We have no muzzle on this, instead you're going to equip the monolithic integral suppressor barrel which offers sound suppression and better bullet velocity at the cost of aim down sight speed. However there is a nice hidden effect on this one, it will increase your damage range as well. The second attachment is going to be the stock FTAC collapsible, increases movement speed by 6.5% and reduces aim down sight speed by 17 milliseconds. However, your aiming stability and your recoil control will slightly increase. For an under battle, you can equip the Merc foregrip. Recoil control and hip fire accuracy are reduced. However, an add strafe will be added to your aim walking movement speed. Aim down sight speed and movement speed will also be reduced. So, it's not personally my favorite under battle, but it is what most players are using right now. The fourth attachment is the ammunition 45 round mags. Increases your ammo capacity, the aim down sight speed is increased by 8 milliseconds and movement speed reduced by 1.5%. The last attachment is the stippled grip tape. Aim down sight speed is reduced by 17 milliseconds and sprint fire speed is reduced as well, but aiming stability is increased. Lastly for perks and your lethal and your tactical, these are the same as the previous one, EOD, overkill and amped, C4 and the heartbeat sensor. The third most popular build this week rocks the M4 again, and that's a popular choice right now, with the AX50. Never really been my favourite sniper rifle, 
but it's the most popular sniper right now. The M4 has different attachments to the last build, however, the monolithic suppressor is equipped and the 60 round mags with the TAC laser, but the barrel and the scope are different. For the battle, you're going to choose the Corvus Custom Marksman. Increases damage range, bullet velocity and improves recoil control at the cost of aim down sight speed and movement speed. For the optic, players have chosen the Monocle Reflex Sight, increases aiming sight picture while increasing aim down sight speed. For the second weapon, the AX-50 Sniper Rifle. The monolithic suppressor is equipped and the TAC laser, so I won't go over the stats for those again. For the barrel, we have the 32 inch factory barrel, improves damage range, bullet velocity and recoil control. On the negative side, aim down sight speed and movement speed are increased. For stock, equip the Singard Arms Assassin. Aim down sight speed is reduced by 67 milliseconds, but aiming stability is reduced. Last stipple grip tape, aim down sight speed again is reduced by 17 milliseconds and sprint to fire speed is also reduced, but there is another penalty to aiming stability. For the perks, tactical and the lethal, this is almost the same except for one difference. So the perks again are EOD, overkill and amped, and for the lethal it's C4. But the tactical is different, players are opting to use the stun grenade rather than the heartbeat sensor. The second most popular build this week is the Grau 556 and the MP5. For the Grau, four attachments we have seen previously, the monolithic suppressor, tac laser, commando foregrip and the 60 round mag. The only new attachment is to the barrel and we have the Tempest 26.4 inch Archangel. This will improve your damage range, bullet velocity and recoil control while increasing the time it takes to aim down sights and there will be a penalty to your movement speed as well. To go with this, you can equip the MP5. It's the exact same build as the previous MP5 it has the monolithic integral suppressor, FTAC collapsible, Merc 4 grip, 45 round mags and the stippled grip tape. And perks, EOD, overkill amped, C4 and the heartbeat sensor once again. That leaves us then guys with the most popular build of the week. It's the Kilo 141 paired with the MP5. And I'm not going to go into too much detail on these because they're exact same builds as we've went over in the previous ones. So the Kilo build includes the monolithic suppressor, Singard Arms 90.8 inch Prowler, VLK3 optic, Commando foregrip and the 60 round mag. So it's the identical build as the fifth most popular one that we went over at the start of the video. And the MP5 again is identical to the two previous ones, monolithic integral suppressor, FTAC collapsible, Merc 4 grip, 4 or 5 round mags, and the stippled grip tape. Alright guys, that is about it for this video, a rundown of the 5 most used builds this week in Warzone for you to test out if you're unsure what to use or are struggling with kills. These are the current meta for the last 7 days, and it does change on a weekly basis. For example, the Bruin was the most used weapon for the 7 days previously, but didn't even make it into this week's top 5. Let me know in the comments what loadout you're currently using for Warzone, are they different from what the majority are using right now. Like and subscribe for more Warzone content and I will see you again very soon.